It's June, which means spring is almost over and summer is moving in. Annual flowers are enjoying the longer days and are now coming into bloom. You might even be getting some early harvests. However, there's still plenty of seeds to sow for a harvest in autumn and well into the winter. So here are my top three seeds to sow in June. The very first seed that I'll be sowing this month is cauliflower. I say this because it's getting towards the end of the sowing window, so I recommend you start as early in the month as you can or try growing winter varieties. I've already sown Romanesco Precoce, which grows these gorgeous geometric florets. I have a maths and science background, and even geeks like us marvel at the beauty of this plant. It has a very nutty taste for cauliflower, and I'll be growing it as an annual to harvest towards the end of the year. I'll also be growing Dissicilia Violetto, which grows purple heads for harvesting in late autumn, as well as a variety called All the Year Round, which I'll be sowing now and in the autumn with a plan of harvesting both this year and next. I started mine in pots and transplanted them into the no-dig beds, but you can direct sow cauliflower outdoors by sowing into a shallow drill less than an inch deep before covering with a very fine layer of compost or coir. If you direct sow, you'll need to thin them out later. Alternatively, you could grow them in a separate area before transplanting them into their final growing positions after they've developed four true leaves. Ideally, plants should be spaced 45 to 70 centimetres apart, depending on the variety and how long you plan on growing them for, but you can go lower for some annual varieties if you're happy harvesting smaller heads of cauliflower. Another seed I'll be sowing is beetroot. This is a great crop for eating almost all year round due to its hardiness, natural shelf life, and short growing times, some as quickly as 40 days. Beetroot is another crop that can be started indoors in pots or modules, or directly sown outdoors in shallow drills. Beets take up very little room, so it can be grown to harvest in containers, or they can be good candidates for intercropping. And they are great companion plants for brassicas as they help enrich the soil. They can be harvested when they're as small as a ping pong ball, or you can wait until they're as large as a cricket ball. However, they do turn woody, so don't leave them in the ground for too long. This year, I'll be growing a variety called Bull's Blood, which is grown primarily for its gorgeous deep red leaves, which are also edible. Others are grown primarily for their bulbs, and varieties like Chiogia have distinct pink rings running through their core. And before we move on to the last seed, it's worth pointing out that many of the fast-growing plants covered in previous videos can still be started in June, which is great if you find you haven't got enough plants, or if you're a little bit behind, or if pests got to the ones you already planted out. I lost some of my French beans to slugs, so I'll be direct sowing a couple of seeds next to the damaged plants, and then in a couple of weeks, I'll thin out the weakest ones, leaving only the strongest to grow on. But if you need to grow any lettuce, rocket, spinach, herbs, squashes, beans, broccoli, or more root vegetables, including carrots, they can all still be sown at this time of year. And be sure to press the like and subscribe button to find out what seeds to sow in future months, or leave a comment in the comments section if you're unsure what other plants you can sow this month. In June, I'll also be sowing some cabbage with the goal of harvesting it in the new year. I had made some earlier sowings in pots, but one snail completely took me out. So this month I'll be sowing varieties like the aptly named January King and Tundra for harvesting in the winter and hopefully into the spring. Cabbages can be sown in pots, and I'm a big fan of the control that gives you over germination. Although you can sow them in drills, much like cauliflower or beetroot. Brassica seeds are quite large, so I only sow one or two per pot, and then I'll transplant the cabbage into the ground when they also have about six true leaves. And then I'll make repeat sowings right through the summer and autumn, with the goal of spreading out the harvest across the first half of next year. Remember to protect your brassicas from pests like caterpillars and pigeons, by covering them with an insect-proof net supported on small poles so that the net doesn't rest on the plants. For cabbages, you might also want to place brassica collars around the base of the plant to protect against cabbage root fly and slugs and snails. In general, June is a great month to start sowing some late season crops and biennials. In this video, I've suggested some vegetables for you to grow, but flowers like foxgloves, sweet williams and wallflowers can all be sown now for next year and loads of annuals can be started now for some extra colour later in the year. But if you've already started a load of plants and need to get them in the ground, then check out this video here where I try and show you how to plant out basically everything before I need to leave for a trip. And as always, happy gardening!